The New Jersey Chamber of Commerce brought together an impressive collection of the state's business and legislative leaders for a business summit in Atlantic City recently. The consensus of the gathering is New Jersey must do something about its oppressive taxes. But is that even possible? Now that all depends on who you ask. Welcome back to this special edition of Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We continue our coverage of the summit with the Speaker of the New Jersey Assembly, Vinny Prieto, who is not too optimistic that anything can be done, at least not right now. The, the name of this conference is called a business summit, a call to action. Mm -hmm. Do you think there will be any action after something like this? Well, from my part, I've been talking about doing things with a transportation trust fund from two years ago. That's something we need to do. And I've been uh, talking to the business community, and I think that we have to do it, especially when we get back into session in November after the election, so all that uh, partisan and all that uh, rhetoric and uh, politics gets away. We need to get down and do the right thing for the residents of the state of New Jersey. One of the main things is our transportation infrastructure. We need to replenish it because at the end of the day after June of next year we have no money every penny we collect goes to pay down debt which actually we can't borrow anymore because we are raising taxes but on our children on our grandchildren so we have to do something sensible and we're talking about it talking to the business community how do we give them relief how do we get businesses to come to New Jersey and stay in New Jersey and create jobs so that's that's something we have to do person after person speaker after speaker panel after panel yeah. some of the people I just interviewed in the last right. few minutes they say the number one problem in New Jersey are taxes. Yeah. And they say something has to be done, inheritance taxes. They go down the line. They have a long list yeah. of taxes. Is there any possibility with a cash-strapped state that they can reduce taxes. And, and this is where you're actually talking about re real being realistic. And obviously, I understand it. We talk about an uh, estate tax, which I am for trying to get away. New Jersey has a very low threshold, $675,000, which, and listen to this, if you have 674, you pay nothing. 675, you pay from dollar one. So it's a cliff that it's, it's, it's daunting for these people. So we have to do something. But saying that, it's $440 million into the general budget. Given all the obligations problem we have, it's problematic. We need to phase it out, and we could do that, raise that threshold right away to give some relief and start doing the right things. Can we do? Absolutely. We need to create revenues in the state of New Jersey by doing our transportation trust fund and dedicating that money. And I've been talking about a gas tax because it is the low-hanging fruit. As long as you invest it into the, that infrastructure, you will create jobs, spur the economy, and then we can do all those things. Property taxes are number one in the nation, meaning the most costly. We have to get better and do that, but we need revenues here. And let me tell you, everybody says, well, you can cut. I was the former budget chairman. There is nowhere to cut. It's not about New Jersey having a spending problem because you have a Republican administration into their sixth year, they would have cut government. And I'm telling you, we need revenue. So we have a problem. How do we create revenue? So we have to start thinking outside the box. When we return, we'll wrap up our coverage of New Jersey's business summit with a focus on the state's infrastructure. We'll be right back.